Okay, there are two terms that resonate loudly more than ever in the sneaker culture, and I just want to touch on those really quick. I promise I won't keep you long, but those two words, sleeping and bricks. What's up, everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ, aka TJ Two Shoes Chains. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. When you are viewing this, if you're brand new, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below. I really appreciate it. Thank you for always showing love to the videos, Two Shoes Crew. You guys know you're amazing, and it clearly they're really wouldn't be a talks with TJ without you. I would just say and think everything else that I normally do, just not on camera, I guess. But uh, thank you for tuning in. And also you can always follow me on Instagram at talks.with.tj. And I post tons of content there, like far more than I even do here. And I still don't know why I am posting daily content, but you know, whatever. We're here and I'm not gonna keep you long. So there are two words that constantly pop up now and have become staples within the sneaker community. And I guess I'll just give my two cents on them, okay? So the first term, and we're all very familiar with, right? Bricks. So, oh, that shoe's a brick. Oh yeah, those are just bricks, right? So the only reason that a brick term comes into play is if you are looking to make a profit by flipping that shoe, AKA reselling that shoe. If you have zero intention of doing that, then the term brick should never even come up because you should not care. You should not have any concern of whether or not a shoe is still available on a retail shelf at the MSRP price. You shouldn't, at least I'm, I'm trying to understand why does it matter? If you're not looking to make a profit from the shoe, why does it matter if it's a brick or not? Like I'll even have kids that come into kids Foot Locker and they'll even comment or say something about the fact that a shoe is a brick. And I'm just like, this is where, this is what it's come to. Like even this young generation seems to think that a shoe is a brick or that it's a problem. Like why is there a negative connotation with a brick, like, like with the shoe still being available for retail? It, to me, it shouldn't be. And I'm just so over the term of shoes being bricks. And it's like, point made. If you don't want the shoe, if you don't like the shoe, then fine. Why doesn't it stop there with you just not wanting the shoe or you don't like the shoe? Because you don't need to like every single shoe that comes out. That leads me to the next term, okay? Sleeping. We have this, this, this phrase that... Oh, people sleep on these sneakers. People slept on this model. People slept, people slept. And listen, I'm not saying I'm not guilty. There are a multitude of videos you can go back in even recently where I, I will say that, yes, I slept on a sneaker. Uh, yes, uh, you know, I, oh, I was, I was sleep when this released and that's on me. Like, I really appreciate it now. I think there are, I think if in the right context, I think I'm probably okay with sleeping on a sneaker, right? So Sleeping on a sneaker in terms of maybe you passed on it at the moment because it just didn't hit you. Maybe you didn't appreciate it as much as you 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 thought you would and you're just like, okay, yeah, it's not like a need. I'll go back for it. Yeah, I'm really okay with that. But I think we have to keep in mind it's not always sleeping on a sneaker. Like if the person never changes their mind down the line, a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, they never change their mind. They never feel this need to go back for the sneaker then was it really sleeping on a sneaker or was it that they just didn't like it? Like if you have no interest in it and that int that that lack of interest sustains itself for a very long period of time, I don't think it's sleeping on the sneaker. People can just not buy a sneaker because they don't like a sneaker. They cannot like the style. They cannot like the brand. They cannot like the designer. They cannot like the color. They cannot like the execution. They cannot like the fit. They cannot like how it wears over time. There are so many facets of why they cannot want the sneaker. And they're entitled to feel that way about any shoe because this is all subjective. It is style. It's, it's sneakers are not objective as much as we want to believe that they are, right? Because you like something, it doesn't mean I need to like it and vice versa, because I like something, it doesn't mean you need to like it. So to say like, you don't hear me going around saying, yeah, people are sleeping on fear of God. No, like if you choose to not buy that brand for whatever reason, that is your prerogative. I don't need an explanation. I don't need a dissertation. I don't need you to stand up and give an opening and closing statement of why you don't want to buy it. Just don't buy it. But people seem to really focus on like everybody sleeping on sneakers. 
maybe they just don't care about them or like them, right? Like a lot of, uh, I guess, OGs in this space were really upset when the younger generation passed on a lot of, you know, OG colorways that finally retroed and came back out. And it's like, maybe they just don't like them. I know that's hard to stomach, but I don't see a lot of like younger kids like going back for the He Got Game 13s. I just don't. So sleeping, if she was a brick, swear I'm over those terms. <laughs> okay, so... People are people have the right to not like a shoe, not buy a shoe, and to also just stop caring about if a shoe is sitting. All right, I don't think it's hurting your pockets if it's sitting, or if it is, and you're a reseller. Well, you went into it knowing this risks. So that's all I got. Act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.